once we started sculpting him, we got discovered like ridiculously quickly. I mean, we got really lucky with who saw our stuff and when they saw it. The first year at Comic-Con was 1991. And it was crazy because when we opened the cab door, the first person we saw was Stan Lee. So our, our first year, we knew we were here. Yeah, he was outside on the sidewalk walking by. So we were happy with that and we felt like we were getting off to a good start. We got started because of this book called Creature Court. It was a revelation to us that instead of an action figure or a silly little statue, it could be like art. When we were 15, the first things we were making were like paper mache with paper and tape and two legs and a tail so they would all stand up, you know, <laughs> a little tripod situation. Jared and I didn't know what we were doing. No one would tell you. And we like basically screwed up in every way you could screw up along the way. And now, people come to us and ask how we're doing it, which is bizarre, you know? It's just how we've eventually found what we were comfortable with. We do a lot of teaching online or mentoring. We have a sculpting forum where amateurs and pros all gather. If a young kid can do it, and if he's better than us, freaking awesome, let's see it. If we like somebody's stuff, we'll sticky it to the top of our forum because we're fans at the end of the day and we just never want to be petty about the process of art. We worship a, like Rodin and that kind of rawness and that kind of strength in sculptures. You know, sometimes my brother says, we want it to look like the sculptor just got up and walked away from the piece for a second, and you're seeing it. Once we start smoothing it down or sanding it down or polishing it down, it loses something. We've been told that so many times that we tend to believe it. I mean, some people love that and some people don't, but that's how we see things. That's how we want to see art. It's funny that all those days when I was eight years old, 12 years old, reading comics, that it actually paid off in a way. It influences our personal stuff and specifically the different artists. Some of these guys we've gotten to meet, you know, and it's like, wow. We really were little kids reading this. We were comic book nerds, and now we're sculpting the Hulk. You know what I mean? That's a different thing. And we're living the dream.